It's with Crown Royal, the yes, Purple ma Bad Project. This is your drink anyway. It I is. know that. It is. Yes. It's a very, very organic pairing. And, and the fact you, what were you saying? That we, we were, were talking we about were life changes. It in Boston. Boston. Yeah, that's right. You had just told me, you know, this is going to be this album. It's coming out. We were going in depth, and and we said, let's cheers to it. And Crown was right there. What did there. I pour you? That's right. It was Crown and Coke. It was really tasty. Too. Yeah. So tell me about this project and how you got involved. Yeah. So. So first of all, I feel like, like you were just talking about, mine and, mine and Crown Royals, I feel like values really align, mm -hmm. uh, just from the way that my wife and I uh, like to live our life, just as far as like giving back and really, really getting on board with certain uh, charities and parts of the world that we believe in. And um, that's what's so cool about this campaign is that these bags that we're packing uh, full of, you know, candy and beef jerky and, you know, just kind of essential things and handwritten letters. Um, so the goal of this is to be able to pack a million bags by 2020 and send it to um, all of our brothers and sisters overseas serving yeah. in the military and also people uh, that have been directly affected by you know natural disasters like hurricanes and there's, there's been a few of those in the past couple of years and so nice. um, we're having like a big uh, event on November the 13th before the CMAs and we're kind of asking everyone to come down to help us uh, pack bags and personalize letters and then drop them in the mailbox and get them shipped out. Okay so when you're drinking your Crown Royal backstage <laughs> Um, what would be like the ultimate? Because you are up for three separate events. Right. You, you've got a uh, male vocalist, you've got Marry Me, which is such a good video, by Thank the way. Thank you very much. The twist at the end, I didn't see it coming. <laughs> so great. You have to go check it out if you haven't seen it. Um, and then Album of the Year. So, which one would mean the most? Um, like, which glass would be the fullest <laughs> crown royal? Yeah, if, if if they were like, and the winner is Thomas Rhett. Yeah, if, if we won, if we won album of the year, the glass would be pretty full. Yeah, uh, yeah just because the album is such a, is such a body of work, not just picking out one thing about it. Um, and you just spend so much time making a record. Like, there's so much goes into making a record that I think so many people don't know how much work goes into it, from right. the writing, the recording, the singing. The sequencing, the packaging, the album work, like there's just, it, it, it takes two years to make a record, or at right. least for me it does. Um, and so when you put it out, you're, you're kind of blind and you're like, are people going to like this or is it going to tank severely? Uh, and when it works uh, and, and it starts to get critically acclaimed or whatever you want to call it, and, and the CMAs not, you know, recognize that record as one of their favorite five records of the year, um, th there is no cooler honor than that to me. So. Big old glass. Big old glass. Yeah. Big tall sipping glass. You're right. not going to do a shot glass with that one. <laughs> That's right. Um, when you're looking at Life Changes, and, and I listened to this, what was the song that came off of Life Changes that became a single that surprised you the most? That one. Life Changes. Yeah, because we, we um, before I wrote Life Changes, I mean, we were we were getting kind of into October, and the record needed to be turned in by like December or January. Um, okay. And so I was kind of like, well, whatever we write now is just kind of whatever. Yeah. Like, let's just keep writing songs. And so. When Life Changes came about, um, even when we wrote it, we were just like, I don't think this is going to be on the record. I think it's way too personal. It doesn't sound super traditional. Like, this was just like an event day mm -hmm. session for me. And mm -hmm. so, and then the more, you know, me and the label and everybody started listening to it, it just kind of kept raising its hand like, you know, I need to be the title because this, this is what this whole record is about and this is what your life's been about the last five or six years. And it, it's funny how songs, when, when they need to be heard, they will raise their hands. And so Life Changes was definitely one of those ones that, I didn't think it was going to be on the record, much less the name of it, much less the name of a tour, and it became all those things. So there you go. You yeah. never know. You, you never know. Keep writing. That's, That's right. You, you do have to keep writing. Um, tell me about the tour. What's happening at the beginning of 2019? Yeah, so we just wrapped our Life Changes tour two days ago in okay. Sacramento. It was a blast. Uh, so fun having Brett Young and Midland out on the road with us and the Midland boys. Oh my gosh, they're the craziest, amazing people in the world. <laughs> I mean, they're seriously amazing. They're amazing. Wow. They're yeah. wild. Yes. They're wild. Yes. They're wild they boys. Are wild. Um, but yeah, so then we'll go finish this next record in December and in January, and then uh, we start touring in like April of next year. April? So, yeah. Okay, that's the date. Yeah. Everybody's looking for it. Save the date. All right, who's going out? Uh, well, on our, on our Canadian run, it's going to be me and Dustin Lynch, and then I can't, we haven't announced the rest of the year, so. You're going to make us wait? Uh, I have to. Aye. Yeah, okay, I'm sorry. fine. It's fine. It's fine. So, again, for people that want to be involved, uh, yeah. obviously you can go pick up Ground, Crown Royal anywhere because yeah. it's all over the place. But if they want to be involved with this, it's happening right before the CMAs. Yeah, so November 13th, and any other way you want to get involved, be sure to follow at Crown Royal on Facebook and Instagram uh, to figure out you know other ways that you can help with Purple Bag Project. And if you do live in Nashville or if you don't, if you just want to fly in for that day, I mean, why not? that would be amazing. Yeah. Uh, the more people, the better. Um, 
Is that even the way to say that? Yes. More people, the better. Yes. Um, and uh, we are going to be packing bags all day, and um, it'll it'll be very very life giving. So. I'm just excited that it all comes together for you. Yeah. It's so good. 2019 is going to be really really good, but 2018 has been a great year. 2018 has been great. Yeah, you got to raise a glass to that. That's right. Good stuff. Congrats. Thank you good so to much. See you. Appreciate it.